If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through all the various charting features that are available uh, within BetAngel. And I'm going to start uh, by looking at the ladder. You can actually access charting features from all over BetAngel. So on the ladder, you can see the charting icons here on the one click screen you can click on the name of a runner or you can see a charting icon over here. But for simplicity, I'm going to start on the ladder. You often see on videos that I do, on the right hand side here, there's always a chart ticking away. So how did I get that there? And, and how is that available? Well, if you go up here, there's a thing saying display the enhanced ladder. That basically adds information to the right of the ladder. That allows you to display things like charts. And to enable it, you click on it once. To disable it, you click on it again. You can see it's been crossed out here and it no longer exists. So if I click on that, that appears on the right hand side. So you can display whatever chart you want in here. The advanced charts you design yourself, you design whatever indicators um, and, and price charts and volume, whatever you want to put on there, you can design. And then it becomes available in the drop down menu. So you can actually change the chart type just by clicking on the drop down menu um, and you can either select from the drop down menu and uh, go from there or you can actually use the keyboard to scroll up or down individual charts it's up to you how you wish to do that but you can see we've got a variety of different charts you can make them different colors different types of indicators it's entirely up to you how you want to do that so you can select that from the drop down menu up here you see a thing that says mouse and uh, what this does is it synchronizes the chart with the ladder selection so uh, the best way to describe that is to show you. If I move my mouse on this ladder, it displays the chart over there. Move it on this one, it displays that chart. Over there, it displays that chart, and so on and so forth. So as you move and trade different runners, then you can actually, it will automatically change the charts for you. You don't have to do that. Say you're focused on what's going on on the favorite, because there's something interesting happening there. If we select ladder one on here, then it will stick on ladder one, dependent, regardless rather of what we're doing anywhere else. You can continue to trade um, and watch what's going on on the favorite. It's entirely up to you how you want to do that. Or another option you've got is you can always um, create another uh, in heart, advanced chart. So you can see here we've spawned another advanced chart. We did that just by clicking on one of the advanced chart icons. And uh, what this will actually do for you, let me just dock that so it stays uppermost, is that will actually uh, do exactly the same as you've just seen with the charting on the right hand side. You can specify the same characteristics. So for example, we could keep that on the favorite here, change this one back to mouse, and then we can actually move across the screen and uh, compare charts and do other things um, as, we, as we progress. So you could actually end up displaying two advanced charts, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many you want um, on one runner, but with different indicators to give you a deeper insight as to what's going on in that particular market. Or you can do them on different ones. It's entirely up to you how you wish to do that. But on the when you undock or you don't have them on mouse, what you can actually do is you can actually scroll backwards and forwards on these charts as well. So that allows you to look in, in much deeper detail at a specific moment in time. And then you can zoom in uh, or you can zoom out on these charts as well. And that's independent of exactly what chart you've created yourself. So that's very powerful as well. You can really get an insight as to what's going on in the markets by doing that. So yeah, um, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. What you can also do is um, bring up the Betfair uh, chart as well. Uh, so if you really wanted to, you could actually expand or shrink the Betfair chart. Again, you've got options on here as to how you want to display those. And you can display the implied chance chart as well, which some people use. You can change the time and frequency in which they respond, or you could just park it up in the corner, or depending upon how much screen uh, space you've got, you could move it around and do all sorts of interesting stuff from there. But you can see uh, there are lots of options to display enhanced, uh, sorry, advanced charting, Betfair charting, uh, all on the same screen, different screens, different ways, different runners, uh, plenty of opportunity to, to do that. But you've also got other options as well. Um, which affect the way that the ladder displays information. So if we go into the icon here and click on that, it will bring up the settings. And what you can see on here, I'll just describe a couple of things on here. This describes what this area looks like over here. Let me get rid of that chart. 
So you can see here the minimum width is 300 pixels. It will auto size to the nearest ladder, which is this one over here. And it also tells you how to adjust the mouse context switching sensitivity, so the mouse command on the charts. You can see you can have it very high. We've got it set to medium on this one. You can also modify what this section looks like uh, using this area here. So that allows you to display information um, over here. But you could also, if we shrink the number of ladders to three, you can see that makes that chart a lot bigger. It's up to you, depending on how many ladders you've got, how they're displayed, and what you've done with this enhanced area over here as well. But one of the reasons that I've just switched it to three ladders is there is one more chart that you can display, and that is this one down here, the last traded price column. So if we click on that, you can see it brings up another chart. So you can actually combine the Betfair charts, the advanced charting, along with this particular column, uh, depending on how you want to set up your display. And what I suggest is when you get something that you feel happy with, then name the settings whatever you want to. My funky charts or whatever. And then you've, you've got a reference point. You can switch backwards and forwards really, really quickly between all the different settings you've got, depending upon how you want to trade or what you think you're looking at uh, within the market. Let's just cancel that. So yeah, there are many different ways of displaying those charts. You've got the advanced charting, which is very powerful, and you can use it to define everything on it. You'll need to watch a separate video on that. You've got the tick charts um, over here. You've got the Betfair charts are available with on, on here. And you've also got the uh, one-click screen where you get micro charts. So if you wanted to undock the one-click screen, you could actually have micro charts on that screen as well. And last but not least is the market overview. So the market overview screen actually allows you to bring in another type of charting. And typically you'd use this on another display. But the uh, market overview screen allows you to look at all of the runners in the market simultaneously in one go. And allows you to actually understand what's going on in the market. And you can shrink and expand those. So yeah, there are a whole welter of options in terms of charting. We've given you all of those options so you can decide which ones you want to use and then you save them into a profile um, according to how you would prefer to use them and then you can switch backwards and forwards between all those options between all the charts that you create and display all of them on one screen on separate screens and so on and so forth. But yeah, those are all of the options you've got available when you're charting with BetAngel. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.